Hello, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. Today's video is a part of our monthly collaboration hosted by myself as well as my dear friend, Audia. Our co-hosts for this month are Tasha from Sunflower Tasha DIYs and Makiba from Sweet Heavenly Dove. Please check out the playlist, which will be in the description box below and check out everybody that's participating in this month's collaboration. I promise you will not be disappointed. And make sure that you subscribe if you like what you see, comment, and let them know how you enjoyed their videos. With all that said, let's move on to DIY number one. So this month's theme is all about summertime um, decor or outdoor decor, door decor. So I chose for the first DIY to make a hello sign. Not hello, excuse me, welcome sign. To do this, I am going to take one of these summertime signs and I'm going to make a frame for it first. Um, to do this, I'm going to take two of those square wooden dowels from Lowe's and I want to measure my two longer sides first. Once I have measured those um, against the long sides of my sign, I'm going to take my miter shears and cut those down. Once I have two of those longer ends or sides cut, now I need to place these in place on top of my board and I want to measure my two shorter ends uh, from the inside of the two pieces. Now, the reason that I'm measuring it from the inside of the two pieces is because I want this frame to be able to sit directly on top of this board um, versus having to worry about sliding it inside of the frame and getting frustrated and whatnot. So to actually assemble this frame, I'm just going to take some hot glue, place it on either end of the first longer of our first long piece. Then I'm going to take my two shorter pieces um, and just put them, attach those on the end. And once those two ends are attached, I'll take my second longer piece and just add a drop of hot glue on each end, attach it, and we have our frame. So to make this a little bit more sturdy, to make it a little bit more stronger, I'm going to bring in my staples, and these are the 5 16 staples, and I'm going to give a couple of these to each corner, again, to make sure that it's nice and strong. So once I have this frame um, completed, now I'm going to take this frame along with this round um, wreath form that I found from the Dollar Tree. And you guys, I must say, when I saw these, I picked up every last one of them because I was no telling when I was going to see them again. So I'm going to take these two pieces, give them a nice even couple coats of my chalk paint in the color ink. And then I'm going to take that wooden round that you just saw and my summertime sign and give these two coats of uh, white chalk paint. You can use any colors that you like, but I just wanted this to feel clean and sophisticated. And that black and white is the first combination that came to my mind. So now I want to go ahead and actually start to assemble this project. So what I have done first is I've taken my frame. I did not paint the bottom piece or the bottom of the frame, because I feel like we have too much paint where you're going to have something adhere together that, that the bond is just not as strong. So now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to go ahead and run a bead of this around the complete perimeter of my sign. Then I'll take my frame and I'll just place this on top, I'm moving it around to make sure that it's where, it's need, where it needs to be. Once the placement is perfect, then I can apply my pressure and it's stuck together. And again, I'm going to go ahead and bring in these same 5 16 staples, and I'm going to go all around the perimeter of this on the back side, just to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere and it's nice and secure. So crafting is all about paying attention to details. I noticed that when I turned this piece over to the side that I could still see some of the MDF board. So just to make this more finished, I just took my... Um, black paint and covered that. So as you saw, also I took the white round as well as the black round uh, frame and I attached those the same way that I did my rectangular ones. So I went digging through my stash and I found these sticker um, letters. So to actually take these and put them on my sign, I spell out the word welcome first and then I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to work my way out. So in other words, I'm going to take that letter C, that's my middle letter, and I'm going to go ahead and place that down first, and then I'll work from the inside out, making sure that the word welcome is nice and straight.
I've seen the technique where people use Mod Podge first and then attach the letters and then go over Mod Podge. Um, not go over Mod Podge, excuse me. Go over the letters with Mod Podge again. I just, I just chose to go ahead and attach these letters or adhere them to my sign first. And then I'm going to go over these with a nice coating of that Mod Podge. And that will seal it in and also to make sure that it, those letters don't go anywhere. If you don't have Mod Podge, don't worry. You can always use just plain regular white school glue. It works just the same. So you guys, every month we put on this collaboration, this open collab, but I want to let you know that on Instagram, we have a talented crafters creators club and you guys, we have a lot of fun there and we're growing by the day and we just have a lot of fun there. So if you are interested in becoming a part of our talented creators crafters club, please let me know down in the comments section um, and I'll get you that information. Also, if you're liking these projects that I'm bringing to you on today, please make sure that you do leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notification bell on. Trust me, whenever you do this, this really does help me on my channel. It helps uh, YouTube know that you like what I'm bringing you and it helps me get out there in the algorithm just a little bit more. Now that I have my uh, letters on my sign, I'm just gonna take a piece of that backing from one of the letters. And that's what I'm going to use to actually rub down um, the letters to make sure that I have a nice, strong um, adhesion to the sign. And again, I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm covering this to seal this in. Now, if you wanted to, you could always add a little bit more glitter or well, a little bit of glitter to your Mod Podge to wake it up a little bit. Or you could also take this and turn it completely farmhouse by using the, the um, crickle crackle technique with the Mod Podge and the um, paint on top. There are so many possibilities with this that it's just like the sky's the limit. So take this and make it your own, you guys. So, talking about details, I'm going to go ahead and cover the back of this sign with some craft paper from Dollar Tree. Because if I were to sell this or to give this away, I don't want anybody seeing the backs of these signs. So, again, that's another step to take. Um, because when you're crafting, paying attention to details of small steps is what makes or breaks a project sometimes. So, to cover this, you see I just took my hot glue. I went all the way around the perimeter of that circle, put my, pat, my craft paper down, and once it's nice and secure, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut away the excess. I don't know what was taking me so long to cut this paper, y'all. <laughs> so like it was taking me forever and a day. All right, so now I have the back of this um, covered. Now I want to go ahead and make um, make way to actually attach and adhere these two pieces together. Um, but before I did that, I wanted to show you how I made my hanging apparatus for this sign. I just took a piece of twine, I put a knot in either side, or well, on either side. Then I put a foundation of hot glue down put each um, knot in it. Then I'm going to take my masking tape and put another glob of glue, put the masking tape over it. And it is really, truly strong. It's not going anywhere. We don't have to worry about this falling off the wall. It's perfect. <laughs> So to actually attach these two pieces, what I need to do is take my round piece and you will see how I have turned it to make sure that the hole where the string was to hang it from um, is turned horizontally. That way, when we attach the long sign to the round sign, you won't be able to see it.
So once I have eyeballed it, I have in place how I want this to fit, I'm going to again bring in my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go ahead and pile it on, making sure that this is secure and that it's not going anywhere. So this is how it looks and I'll show you how I dressed it up at the very end. So let's go on to DIY number two. I'm going to start off with two of these uh, easels that I picked up from Dollar Tree, and these were $3, I believe. So what I want to do first is go ahead and mark um, the two sides of the longer piece that's going across it. What I want to do is measure on the sides of that so I can cut the excess away. Then I also need to measure along the tops of those three legs to cut away the excess from those as well. And again, these miter shears, if you don't have miter shears, man, you, you're sleeping on them. Get you a pair. They work wonderfully. Now, when I cut these pieces away, I want to make sure, because these do screw into place, y'all. So when you are cutting this, make sure that you don't cut too far um, to you, not too far, excuse me, too close to the hole that you're going to screw, put the screw back in. That way it doesn't crack and split on you. So once I have my easel attached or put back together, this is what it looks like. It's just a simple V with the bar, well, a triangle. <laughs> A simple triangle with all the extra bits um, cut away. I'm going to take for the middle piece that doesn't have a screw, I'm just going to go ahead and secure that with a dot of glue. So what about this screw at the bottom? Well, we're going to take that out. And what I want to do is keep those screws because they are some pretty good screws. But what I need to do is go ahead and take my hot glue and I'm just going to secure those three pieces together, again, making sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And I need to do this to both of my easels. So now that I have my two sides uh, made, you guys, this is going to be my summer, well, quote unquote wreath, but it's really my summer door hanging. So what I need to do for the sides, now I need to cover the inside. I'm going to take a piece of this MDF board and I'm just going to go ahead and I've cut it in half and I'm just going to draw a line from the outside sides of this um, easel that we have prepared. And now I'm just going to take my crafting knife and a ruler and I'm going to score it first. Then I'm just going to continue it deeper and deeper scores. And then these two pieces will be able to be popped away from each other. Sometimes you may need to take your craft knife and just go across that paper because that paper can be a hindrance sometimes. So now that I have both of these pieces cut out, what I want to do is go ahead and attach these to the inside of these easels. And this is going to close in the box so that you can't see through it on the sides. To attach these, I just used a little bit of hot glue, but of course you use any combination that you would like. So once I have these back on the easel, what I need to do is again, I'm going to bring in my staple gun. Just go ahead and add a couple of staples to it to make sure that it's in place and it's not going to go anywhere. So now that these two ends are complete, now I want to go ahead and start working on the front and the back. And I just have a piece of the MDF board, and I also have these um, gallon-sized paint stirrers. As you see, I have a set of two for both of these. And what I needed to do is measure, mine came out to be 15 and a quarter inch in length. So I just cut down my four gallon 
paint gallon stirrers, and then I went ahead and cut down my MDF board as well. To attach these, again, I'm going to run a crossbar across the top and a crossbar across the bottom, and that is made out of our paint stirrer sticks. Once I have the first set in place, now I'm going to go ahead and take the first, I mean, excuse me, the second set and do this to the back side. And this is going to make um, putting our box to get, well, yeah, get box container together uh, much easier. So now that I have all four of these crossbars attached. Now I can take my second side and I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere these with hot glue in the same way that I did the first side. You guys, when I got to this step and I started seeing how everything was coming together, I got super excited because, you know, the vision that I had in mind, it started to come together exactly how I had envisioned it. So now that I have these four crossbars laid down, they are attached, and I have secured them with a couple of staples again, uh, I need to go ahead and attach that um, third piece, which will actually make the front and the back complete. And to attach these, I went ahead and ripped the paper off the back to make sure that we had as the best adhesion that we could get. And I'm just going to go ahead and attach this, and this is our back. So for the front, I'm going to take the second piece, and I'm going to cover this. But before we do that, we need to paint this whole thing in white. And I also painted a little bit on the inside, um, just to make sure that you won't be able to see that brown. So for my front panel, what I'm doing is taking that second piece that is 15 inches no, 15 and a quarter inch, there we go, in measurement. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this placemat that I found at the Dollar Tree. I really loved it because it has the bees on it, but it's not like bees everywhere. It has the flowers and the greenery too. Love it. So what I have done is just simply cut these the side stitches away from this. Now I have my single piece of material. If you wanted to, you could all, always go ahead and paint the board so that the print would actually be brighter and louder. Um, however, I wasn't really worried about that. So to attach this material to this front panel, all I have done is ran a bead of hot glue around all four sides of that. And I'm just gonna press the material into the glue. And now that it's secure, I'll go ahead and cut the excess away. Once I've cut the excess away, I'm going to actually go ahead and decorate it with two strands of this uh, ribbon. Then I'll attach this to the front of my piece, put some flowers in it, and you will see how it turns out on my door. You guys, this door decor, well, my summertime wreath, this looks way better than what I thought it was going to look. Um, I just simply took a wooden tag, added a little paint, and added a, the letter for my last name and then attach it to the front with some beads. And this is what we came out with. And here we have our welcome sign. I just added a little bit of that greenery to it, a nice bow. And I really think this looks store friendly. Like I just went and purchased this out of the store. And here's what the two of them look like together. Guys, I absolutely love how these came out. I'm so glad that you have watched today. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, out of your busy schedule. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, my prayer for you is that you continue to stay blessed and healthy. In Jesus' name, 